So today we are faced with a quite a big challenge of the new coronavirus infection that is actually spreading at a very rapid pace. As we know now, recently it has entered India. There are cases multiplying almost double, triple, quadruple every day. So on, as a basis, this entered India from our knowledge that people who are either visitors from Italy to India or people from India who have gone to Italy or other places and returned. So now the issue is how as an individual, how as a community and how as a nation we should try to mitigate this challenge. So as a personal individual needs to protect themselves first. So to understand how this virus spreads, it only spreads from droplets that come out of an infected person who may sneeze or cough and the droplets are breathed or inhaled by an individual who is in the vicinity and that virus can enter the body and then infect the person who is in the vicinity. So once we say be aware of your surroundings, if you see somebody who has got a cold, cough, sneezing, coughing or looks like having being ill, stay away from them because if you are more than two meters away from an individual like that, even if they cough and sneeze, you will not be, uh, those, those droplets will drop to the ground and you will not be in danger. So be aware of your surroundings. Second, if you are going into a crowded place where you are, there are many, many people of unknown origin or from different where they come from, it is, and you're going to spend some time in a closed space, it's better to wear a mask now. It's not very clear 100% whether it protects you or not, but it certainly can't hurt and maybe it will help. So I, I would encourage that people should wear masks if they are going to be in large crowds in a closed space because then this precaution of staying away is not possible. Third, if you have somebody, in whether you are or anybody in your family or vicinity who has a persistent cough, cold, fever, you should see a physician immediately because they will be able to tell the symptoms of, of the epidemic that of coronavirus which is spreading and if need be they will send you for testing and to the appropriate facility. So that these are certain things for yourself. Then you say what to do in your own community. Now like Holi is coming up in the next three four days and the question has arisen should you do large uh, like in communities that we do RWA, Holi, Millens and all that. I think it is not necessary to do it this year. Hopefully there will be many holies for everybody and avoid, but doesn't mean you, you don't play holy. You can ho play holy in the family or known people who you know are healthy and well or have not been to, to other countries where infection has spread. I think that's fine. But to go to unknown places with large numbers, I think it's best to do the precaution right now. Then comes the fact what can we do as a community member and as a national member. So if you find somebody who has had the contact, has come from overseas, looks like have, it may be developing something, please encourage them to go for testing because individually one may feel scared that you know if I reveal that I've been, I, I'm feeling this way or I've been overseas that I may have a stigma. Not important. The important thing is we need to protect the, ourselves, our country and this is such a dangerous thing because it's, it actually spreads quite fast. If we all individually become what we call, call coronavirus uh, uh, warriors, we will collectively defeat it and save India from some of the, the fate that some of the other countries have met. Simple message, please adhere, remember, don't shake hands because by shaking hands you can transmit from one to the other. So the good old Indian tradition of Namaste to be adopted, no hugging right now. Once we are over this crisis, of course you could return to all the greetings that you are used to. So wash your hands if you have touched surfaces or held somebody's hand with soap and water, at least 20 seconds of washing, washing. And otherwise also, if you can get access or carry some hand sanitizer, alcohol based, that would help because every time you touch the surface, we know that the virus can survive on surfaces where somebody has sneezed or, or infected it. 
for at least 48 hours, maybe longer. So good, good habit, don't touch surfaces like handrails, like you're going up escalators, opening doorknobs in toilets and things like that. Try to avoid that. Use tissue papers to do all that. If you sneeze, always in a tissue paper and discard it in the garbage and wear a mask whenever you feel that you're going, into, going to be exposed to a large crowd in a closed space.